Hot 937 Harford's number one fit pop in R&B. It's your man DJ Michi, the Black Kennedy. Live and direct, man, the world famous heavy hit. I'm in the building at DJ Michi Podcast. We in the building. We, cra- we going crazy today, man. I got the brand new, you know what I'm saying, podcast that's rolling out and all that. And, of course, I got to have somebody from the home team, you know what I'm saying, stop through. I got to have somebody come through and bless, you know what I'm saying, the platform and all that. This is my brother. He goes by the Holy One. He goes by Sholey. Y'all make some noise, man. Sholey yeah, in the yeah, building. Yeah, we here. It's only right. Misha, I appreciate you. CT, let's do it. Yes, sir. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, man. Appreciate you for having me, bro. Of course, of course. Listen, I've been seeing you out here moving around. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You uh, you got a lot going on, and you hit me. You said, yo, I'm on the way. Yeah, yeah. Shout, <laughs> shout out to my guy, Decomposer, man. I uh-huh. just wanted to talk to the streets, man. You know what I mean, yes. put that lingo in their life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, let them know how we carry and how we rocking. So that's what it is. Absolutely. And I the love way. the record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those joints where you throw it on. If you're a hip hop head, mm-hmm. if you love hip hop like we love hip hop, this is going to be for you. This is that record that's going to be for you. I also like it because a lot of people hit me and they say, What's going on in Connecticut? What's the sound? Do y'all got this? Do y'all got that? I'm seeing a lot of dance motion. I'm seeing a lot of this. I'm seeing a lot of singers. I'm seeing a lot of that. But they don't really talk about the fact that Connecticut got the spitters. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah I mean, saying? we got we got the spitters and we, I mean, and we living like that. So, yeah, I mean, I just want to get my G's a soundtrack. Yes, you know what I mean? yes. Like, for my, I mean, I ain't trying to glorify nothing, but mm-hmm. a lot of my brothers, a lot of my peers is really on that type tip. So, I want to make something that they can vibe to. And, Absolutely. You know what I mean? Go hug it. And I think I, I like it because, you know, we're from Connecticut, but it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of division, I guess, within the state. You know, whether or not you're from the north, the south, the east, the west, wherever you're from in Connecticut. (laughs) There's a lot of like 860 action. There's a lot of 203 action. There's a lot of we don't know what's going on here because we down here. We don't know what's going on up here because it's here. But I I love what I'm seeing now in Connecticut because I see a lot of artists, especially you. I think that you are kind of fronting the, the, the motion of getting a lot of these artists from, let's say, down your way coming up this way doing records with artists up this way for people to people to know who they are you know what i'm yeah. saying and being the forefront of that because it's only so much that us as a, as DJs us as a radio station can do yeah because sometimes we don't even reach some of the parts that exactly. you know what i'm saying some of the people in the state are are at and stuff like that so i think it's very important that you know you guys are stepping out there and actually coming together and putting out amazing music you gotta you gotta touch the road, man. You know what I mean, you can't just kick it in your backyard and expect motion. You know what I mean, right. we really have emotion. And um real recognized real. So I'm tapping in with bands in Hartford. I'm tapping in with bass. I'm tapping in with Henny in New Haven. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I'm tapping in with Shemp in New Britain. And mm-hmm. we rocking for real. Like we making music, but these are my people. Right. You know what I mean? So we gonna bridge the gap. Everything husky, it ain't no secret. You right. know what I mean? Now, what, what gravitates you to be able to do that? I mean, I, I understand you said, you know, it's the streets. Maybe you can listen to their music and you can relate to a lot of the stuff that they saying and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I just always feel like, you know, it takes a lot for somebody to come out from their city or come out from their area and really go rock with somebody from another place because, you yeah. know, it's a lot of, it's, you can jump into a lot of stuff. There's a lot of egos. Sure. It's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, all of that type of stuff. But, like, what what made you gravitate to want to, like, even go out and do that? But that just always been my, um like, my vibe and my intuition, even from being in the streets. Like, mm-hmm. you got to uh, pick and choose who you want, you know what I mean, stand next to and, and right. what vibe you want to be around. So, yep. I mean, all the people I name and even the people I didn't name that I rock with, like, I've been around them. And, you know I mean, I'm using my better judgment to say, all right, this is a good dude or, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, this is a real one. You know what I mean? So I'm just using my, my um, you know what I'm saying, my intuition to guide me. Right. And my gut feeling to let me know what's what. And, you know, it hasn't steered me wrong. That's hard. That's hard. Even just, I mean, with the single, On The Way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You linked up with Decomposer. Decomposer's from Up This Way. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout my guy, Decomposer. You know, how was that like linking with him, getting in the studio with him and creating this masterpiece? Um, With Decomposer, man, it was smooth, man, because he reached out to me and was just like, yo, I got something for you. So I pushed up to his studio and um, what I usually do is I usually try to put my stamp on what the producer making. I try to like lead them into what I want. Right. And um, 
I decided that I wasn't going to do that with him. And I, t- I said, I'm going to step in his world. Mm, that's you know what I mean? Because he's, he's a lot younger than I am. Right. You know what I mean? So I was just like, let me get on his wavelength. Mm-hmm. And, and if I'm going to get a decomposer beat, let me go get a decomposer beat. Right, 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 you know what right. I'm saying? So when I heard that, I just knew. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, the beat spoke to me and I talked back. And, right. You know what I mean? And I love it because it's a, it's a, it's a match that... When you see it on paper, you might not know what it's gonna sound like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you if you if you listen to a lot of decomposer stuff and stuff like that, because once I saw it, once I saw it on paper, the first thing in my head is like, when I get around decomposer, he's jumping up and down, he's jumping on tables, couches, all. T- he's a wild boy. So I'm like, what is Sholi gonna sound like on this decomposer beat? Is he gonna be crowd surfing? I mean, be wild? I mean, like, I mean, as far as talking that talk, as far as that lyricism and that yeah. patch, I'm him. So right, right, right. We could do whatever. We uh-huh. could, we could get a beat from Will. I am. It's yeah. Young. I mean, I'm gonna put my thing on it. So. But I loved it because, like you said, you you went in his world, but he still was able to illustrate what you needed to say. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because you know, when I listen to it, it's like, okay, boom, I could put the hoodie on now. You know what I'm saying? I could ride around. Yeah. I could do all that. You know what I'm saying to this? So, you know, it's a dope, dope record. So, congratulations on. Appreciate that. you, bro. Um, I know recently, um, you touched that stage at Toll's place. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, shout the web, man. How was that, uh, you know, experience going out there and, um, you know, putting on? Um, it was different, man. And like I said, I appreciate him for um, calling me out. You know what I mean? But when I got in the building, um, it, it was it, the energy was crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, um, his crowd, man, they was more enthusiastic than I'm used to because, you know, like... <laughs> Um, when you go to a hip hop show, like, yeah, and in the, in the, um, how can I put it? Like, when you in the ghetto or you in the trenches, like, everybody cool, right, right, right. Everybody got they drip on, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, they with they shorty, <laughs> they acting like they hot. You know what I'm saying, right, or, right, right. Or they acting like they the vibe. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. So when I when I performed at his drink, like. When I when I did call and response, when I said put your hands up, they literally oh, yeah, put yeah. their hands up. Oh yeah, up. So they don't was, play. Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't expected, but they was a vibe, man. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know I mean, his whole his whole setup, ill man. I got a lot of respect for dude. Yeah. Now it was crazy that night because um you know when you get on the set, you you always want to try to think like all right, what am I gonna play? You know what I'm saying to get the crowd going crazy. I got to get the energy right in here. So I'm hitting certain records and I'm like, this is a hip hop crowd, so of course we're gonna play the. DMX, we gonna play to this, we gonna play that, and they rocking. Yeah. But the biggest song of the night, son, was Bone Thugs and Harmony. Which one? Crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> like, I told them to, you know, what I'm saying, light it up and all that, just a little call and response, getting them interacting. Yeah. That was the biggest song of the night. You would have thought I was playing Dreams and Nightmares yeah, or something. Yeah, like, they it probably was crazy. Was word for word with it too. Yo. Yeah, yeah, it caught me off guard, man, but I loved it. Yeah, his crowd is his crowd is fun, man. So shouts to Chris Webby. Um, you know, let's go back to the beginning for people that's just tapping in. We got Sholi in the building. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I know a lot of people, they, they come to me now like, yo, I'm loving this Sholi dude. And I'm like, yo, but he's been doing this. Yeah. He's been him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I want to start from the beginning, like, back in Bridgeport, back in that area. Like, when did you get started in this music thing? Um, I've been rapping for a while. So, I guess I could say, like, rapping and doing music, I'll separate it. I've been rapping for a while. Mm-hmm. I've been, like, pursuing the music thing since, like, I came home in, t- in 2015. Okay. So, I've been on it, like, consistently since then. Before that, it was on and off. I was yep. in and out of jail. Yeah. Rapping, battling, um, you know what I mean? Doing cyphers in the hood, but it wasn't nothing like. This is my everyday life. Right. You know what I'm saying? So since 2015, I've been on them. But, yeah, I mean, back in the day, I was just trying to find my way, dropping little mixtapes and, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, putting stuff on YouTube or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? But since 2015, I've been on. I've been on their heels. That's hard. That's hard. Now, now, who, you know, coming up, who, like, influenced some of your journey? Like, who was some of the musicians or some of the music that you was rocking to at that time that kind of inspired your pen? Um... I gotta get my, you know I mean, I gotta get my mother credit. Uh, she got me a boombox when I was way young, and That's hard. Um, like Outkast tapes and mm-hmm. Jay Z tapes and Big Pun stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean, they had a lot of influence on me. Of course, Hove, Nas, mm-hmm. Big, Pac. That's hard. I mean? But hey. I grew up in that, you know, that golden age where everybody was nice. Like in the era 
back then we might argue over who was who and right. what was what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now that we removed from it, I could look back and say everybody was like yeah, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Locks, 50. That's a fact. Nori. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My Prodigy. Mm-hmm. Like the list goes on. Everybody was nice yeah. in, in their own way. That's a fact. Everybody had to wave. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell it, yeah. It just depended on who you was talking to at the end of the day. Um, you know, so after that, you know what I'm saying, once you, you know, you get influenced, now you starting to rap, you in the you in the hood, you doing these ciphers and all that. You said uh twenty fifteen, you get out, you start taking it serious. Now, what was that thing that just kinda like snapped where it was like, Okay, I know I could do this, this the the motion is happening, we here with it. Um, it was a combination of things, man. But um, for me, it was uh, you know, getting a getting a response from um different audiences. You mm. know what I'm saying? Because I was known in my city for something outside of rap. Right, you know right, I mean? right. So you you in your city, you getting that love, but is it like is it my music or is it me? Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yep. So when I start getting on these platforms like bars or I'm in ciphers, like uh, Cypher or Cyphers and yeah. so on and so forth, and this new audience is seeing me that don't know me from Adam, right. and they like, yo, boy, nice. That's when I start knowing, like, nah, it ain't just, mm-hmm. like, wherever you put me at, I'm going to cook, and that's when I started knowing. When I started doing platforms that um put me on the audiences that didn't know who I was and they was reacting and, like, championing right. what I was giving up. Right. So... Being being in the streets and doing what you was doing in the streets, translating all of that, doing the music stuff, you know, what's the transition like? Because, like you said, you know, you, you deal with, obviously, the people out there, they got to look at you in, in different types of ways. Because, one, you might, like, they might know you from this, but then they got to understand you from this. Or people know you from this, and they got to understand that, you know what I'm saying, you here doing this. But what... As far as jumping into it now, taking it serious, um, you know, messing with all this industry stuff, like, yeah. is it, is it, I always like to ask people, you know what I'm saying, is it what you thought it was going to be, or is Yo, it that's like... Yo, a, that's a good question, man, and um, it's a gift and a curse in a way, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, because when people know you for living a certain life in, in the streets... Um, you know what I mean, when you tell your story, they take to it a little bit differently, knowing it's authentic, and right. that's a gift. That's a fact. But um, you know, it's hard to do both, right? Because you're so visible, right? You know what I'm saying? And you got to advertise your whereabouts, and mm-hmm. you got to put yourself on flyers and show a lot of your your uh, a lot of intimate things about yourself. Right, right, right. And that's not something you would do in the street so much. Yeah. So yep. it's like an adjustment to make, and when you start making that adjustment, you might have to let some things go and certain ways of living go right so when you fall back from that lifestyle and your money switch up Mm -hmm. then it it, you know it's a conundrum of you know i mean do they expect certain stuff from me am Mm -hmm. i supposed to look a certain way because they used to me looking like this and they used to me carrying like this so right you gotta humble yourself a little bit and and some in certain points when you say i'm a transition from this to this right 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 and um you know it's just adapting and, and and letting that go to say i want this over here i don't want I don't want these thousands, I want these millions, mm-hmm. and I'm going to figure this out, and I'm going to pour my oil into this over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's not an easy transition to make, and a lot of people don't have the uh, the humility or patience to even do that. Right, right, you right. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's a gift and a curse, man, because without that, you know, sometimes people don't even want to hear your story. That's a fact, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just write you off as like, you know what I mean? I know a lot of people who are really talented, and they don't have a story, and people mm-hmm. just like hear that lyrical miracle. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying, and I think I think sometimes too it's a little kind of little culture shock because once you start to really do it and start to really like do it for real, mm-hmm. you start to see that, damn, I gotta do this stuff that like I really don't want to do. You know what I'm saying, or I gotta, and you know you gotta do it because it's just it's just where we at. You know what I'm saying, me and me and me and your man's was having a whole conversation before where you know I was saying that you know you must be in high demand because right now it's all about content. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's that's all it is. If you're not an artist, you're not doing content, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, that's that's a, um that's something I'm getting used to because uh you know, we will put so much stock into making music. Right. And um your music might not be getting the eyes and ears that you wanted to, so it's like, you know what? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stand in front of this microphone and get busy and make mm-hmm. y'all respect it. Right. And that's going crazy for me every time I do it, whether it's bars or mm-hmm. sway or 
eat double wherever I do it at. Right. It's like people reacting, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, or whatever the medium is. Yeah, it's getting a consistent um, reaction, and it's like, um, it's almost seamless because this is what I like doing. Right, right, you know right. I, mean? I, I like cooking like that, so mm-hmm. it ain't nothing to that. Right. When you got to put together a video and a budget and find the extras and the cars and the yeah. girls and the locations. Right. And you get less of a response doing that than just standing in front of this mic rapping. It's like, all right, well, let me do this then. Since this is what y'all want. <laughs> I mean, we'll fact, figure yeah. this out. And yep. I'm going to keep making music. I'm going to keep pouring my heart into it right. and, and doing it because I love doing it. But I could give y'all this every day of the week. Right. No problem. Right. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Put a good, put a good jacket on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Put, put the good jewelry on and say, well, what are we going to do? Right. And, and, and it's what you got to do. It's work. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That, that's the thing. Once again, we got the one and only Sholi in the building. We here. Bridgeport Song. Big East. Everything Husky, Big East. Mm -hmm. I love it because, you know, if you don't know, I'm the official uh, UConn Huskies DJ. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man, pull your boy up to a so, game too, man. I got you, I, I son. Need to, I need to. We'll put you up the, in a luxury uh, tone. We'll put you up in a little it. sky box. You I know need, what I'm saying? I need to right. see that AZ Fud, man. <laughs> I need to see Shorty. Yes, she sir. Like that. Yo, they got a squad this year, man. They got a squad. Um, both of them too. The went women, men. Yeah. They uh they doing their thing. So shouts to them. But uh, I w- I want to get into this everything husky. I want to get into this Big East movement. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing what you're doing out there. I'm I'm lo- I'm loving what you're putting out there for the state. So talk to me about this. Yeah, man, the everything husky, like, you know what I mean, that was just something I felt like, you know what, man, let me stand on this. And, and husky, obviously, is mm-hmm. the uh, mascot and the home team, but it also means big. Like, yeah, my yeah, pocket's yeah. husky. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I pulled up and something husky. I pulled up with shorty. That thing was husky. Mm-hmm. So everything husky, that's, you know what I mean, that's our flag to fly. That's what we standing on. That's a fact. That's what we representing. You know what I mean? In the that's Big East. It's like the whole hub up here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I can't blame everybody, but they don't know what's going on up here. Right, right, right. They don't know um, the young boys in Hartford is treacherous. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what's going up in New Haven. They don't know the, you know what I mean? Yep. Hartford boys touching money. Bridgeport boys touching paper. Yeah. Boston boys getting big money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They, they active in Springfield. They don't know that. Facts. Because, you know what I mean, a lot of what people are aware of is rap. Right, right, right. So you got an, you see Chief Keith, you see Dirt, you mm-hmm. see, see all they little drama, and it's like, all right, let me look into Chicago or rappers put you on the culture. So I'm a, let me put y'all on the culture up here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all might not know. Right. That's a fact. I mean, anywhere I go when I travel, you know what I'm saying, the two things that whenever I say I'm from Connecticut, the two things that pop up is they say UConn. It's mm-hmm. the first thing. And they say Foxwoods. Yeah, and I guess Fox was but that too, one of the though. biggest you know I mean? that too. casinos or something like that. You, you know what I'm saying? saying? I'm, I'm embracing that too. Like I'm embracing UConn. Like mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, um, and I'm embracing the casino because that's that's part of our culture. <laughs> that's a fact. You know what I mean, you you getting you getting your money working or you getting your street paper, yeah. and you gonna push up to the casino with your people and try to run it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or fact. you gonna bring your shorty up there for the concert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go to the good steakhouse. Like mm-hmm. that's part of our culture too. Like yeah. that's some fly. You know what I mean? Thing that we be doing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that, all that. You know I mean, when UConn, when they had the um, Final Four joint in my city, I was courtside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm jacking all that, too. I'm jacking <laughs> UConn. I'm jacking the casino. But, yes, sir. But look, like, you know what I'm saying? Don't confuse it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's, it's dangerous, too. Right, and I right, ain't right. glorifying that, but. Absolutely. You know I mean, it is what it is. But I love the movement because, it once again, it, it brings togetherness again. You yeah. know what I'm saying? From Because at the end of the day, I mean, we know where UConn is at. It's way that's way out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then you down here talking about everything husky. That's that's the that's the mm-hmm. state. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I love that togetherness. I love the movement, man. And um, you know, outside of the single that's out that we going crazy with up here, man. Um, are you working on a project? You got any uh, new music on the way? Um, yeah, I'm working on um, I'm working on Show Love Three. I got new music in the chamber mm. that I'm you know I mean getting the calendar ready for, getting ready to roll out. Getting ready to tear down a couple more of these platforms. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean, and just keep my. I'm campaigning right now, man. Hard, hard, you know hard. I mean, surely the holy one, man. We just campaigning. You know what I mean, putting the people on, one city, one state at a time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, and we bridging the gap. You know what I mean, so show love three. Mm. What producers you working with? What artists you working with? Who you got on this? 
Um, it's a lot of producers that I've been working with, and the features is still up in the air, man. But I, I mean, more than likely, I'm gonna have my brother Millie's on there. Okay. OT. That's you my, know what I mean, of guy. course, Bands, Henny. You mm-hmm. know what I mean, Mundo. I mean, but look for some surprises too, man. I don't want to give anything up, but mm-hmm. you know, it's gonna be. That's it's hard. The, it's the, you know what I mean, show love one and two. Mm-hmm. As far as my audience, they look at those like you know what I mean, like cult classic type things. So right. Show love three, the Holy Trinity. That's gonna be. I need people to understand who Showly is because, regardless of of if you just discovering them now and stuff like that, I love the fact that. You know, you could say something like, I just started doing, I started taking it serious t- 2015 when I got out and all that. Mm-hmm. But you can hear it in your music how, to me, how serious you take it. You know what I'm saying? You could, you could see the progression from the projects. You can go back and actually say, well, I just heard about Sholi today, but let me go back and jump into the discography. Because yeah. you got that much music out. You got that many projects out. Hell it's yeah. not a lot of artists that could do that they they might say man i've been doing this for a minute blah, 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 boom and then you go look for them and they don't got nothing going on yeah this Ain't show no this, is, this is show love one this is show love two this is billions mm-hmm. this is dope sample mm-hmm. and, and 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 in that i'm cooking everywhere yeah. i go i'm, that's what I'm, saying. I'm giving up all verse, fire i'm yeah. giving up verses that's five minutes eight minutes one take mm-hmm. you've never heard none of these bars before right in the midst of putting all this music out, right? You know what I'm saying, and this, you know what I mean. These, these this music I put out is, it's like personal. It's near and dear to me, bro. Like, I put out an album while I was on trial for my life, and my father was dying. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. this is my. I'm bearing it all. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'm telling you my story. I'm telling you the story of my city. I'm telling you the story of my neighborhood. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of my people done passed in the past few years. You know what I mean? So right. it's just like this deep. We trying to get out of here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm giving you albums, mm-hmm. songs, mm-hmm. freestyles. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I did the show love experience. I bought the whole state out. Right. I'm giving you all this stuff on a high level. Right. You know what I mean? Indie. Right. You know what I mean? So you got to respect it in a way. And I and I love I loved the energy because like I, like I said last time when I was just joking around when we was uh, on the air with Webb, and I said it, 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 it feels like you got a chip on your shoulder. Yeah. But I love that because it just shows your passion because at the end of the day, somebody like you that's been performing the way that you perform, that's been, um, you know, putting out the the quality records, quality projects and all that, you don't even got to be doing all that. You know what I'm saying? Because you are who you are. But at the end of the day, it's like you still show up to perform each and every time, no matter what it is. And that's what I respect. Yeah, about. man, because I, I appreciate that too. Thank you, bro. Yeah. And um, I mean, for me, it's bigger than this. Like, my lease on this thing is different. It, I mean, it ain't necessarily money and um, hoopla. You mm-hmm. know what I mean, all that stuff come with it. But you know, what I mean, I I wanted to tell the story of where I'm from, mm-hmm. and I want to be known as one of the greats to do this. You know what I mean, because I I craft this. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, I'm putting these verses together i'm putting these concepts together i'm studying and really diving into it so i want to be seen as one of them dudes when it's all said and done with me i want to be seen as one of them right 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 you know what i'm saying so it's just like i get the love around here but you know what i mean that ain't enough right you know what i mean not for what i not, not for what i want i love it and i appreciate it but mm-hmm. it's bigger than that for me that's hard that's hard now you know making this music and um you got a lot of music on the way and stuff like that. You got any uh like dream collaborations? Anybody you would want to work with? Uh, right now, man, I'm jacking Blast Hard Body. That's hard. I like Blast. Um, that'd be hard. Yeah. yeah. What I what what come to my mind with collaboration is people who could do something I can't do. Mm, okay. Yeah, you know I mean, so like Blast, I like Alex Isley right now. A lot of That's people hard. gonna catch on to her in a second. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, and. I say when, I'm naming people that obviously I don't know or have access to right, yet. Right, right. Yep, yep. I mean, there's other people that I'm fans of that I actually work with now. But mm-hmm. yeah, like that right there, I would love to make that happen. That'd be crazy. A blast, Alex Isley, Sholy record. Yeah, not not necessarily Sheesh. together, but like a blast, Sholy or an Alex Isley, Sholy. You know yeah. what I mean, I like Ari Lennox too. But mm-hmm. yeah, so you got you 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 got like a. You like that R and B, like that. I like that. I like that that pocket. You know that yeah. uh, that that can't knock the hustle. Yeah, that, yeah, that like Jay-Z, that soul. Mary yeah, yeah, yeah. J, where it's mm-hmm. a marriage. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean two masters doing something only they could do. Yeah, that's you hard. Know what I'm saying that's hard. 
I like stuff like that. That's fire. That's fire. Like Rick Ross, John Legend, Rich Forever. Yeah, yeah. And it was funny because when you, when you said the, the people that you said earlier, I was gonna say I was gonna say something like a like a Rick Ross, John John yeah, Legend collab. Yeah. That's hard. That's hard. What's well, on the way? It's on the way. Yeah, on the way. You know what I'm saying we got Sholi in the building. Before we get up out of here, man. Um. You know, you got a lot of people that's going to be listening to this joint, man. You got a lot of people that is tapping in with us right now. It's a lot of artists, you know what I'm saying, that look up to you, that are, that are following your motion, seeing what you're doing and all that. You know, just talk to the people one time, like, give them some advice. You know what I'm saying? we it, It's all about togetherness. We got to build each other up. You know, what do you see in Connecticut? What do you see? What are the mistakes that you see in Connecticut? And what do you think that people should be doing? Um, I don't want to highlight no mistakes, but what I will say is um, I feel like people got to tap into their highest level of creative mm-hmm. or craftsmanship. I feel like they got to dig deep and reach that next um, plateau mm-hmm. because what I what I notice is, um, and I'm sure you know this too, your talent, when, it, when it's a certain level, it's going to just get you indoors that money can't get you into. That's a fact. And, it's, you know what I mean, people are going to speak your name in rooms that you're not in and rooms of opportunity because they just so enthralled by your talent and what you do. So if you're a blogger, a podcaster, rapper, singer, yeah. videographer, yeah. photographer, I just want you to, like, tap into that next level. And, you know what I mean, don't necessarily compete with what's going on here, but if you're a photographer – Look at Jonathan Mannion. Look at Mike Miller. Look at, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Go look in the Time Magazine and see who's shooting the cover. Right. And, like, look at what they, how they carry in and say, all right, this is what I'm up against. Like, right. I look at Jay-Z and I look at Nas and I look at Meek and I say, all right, this is what I'm up against to be one of the best rappers. So mm-hmm. I feel like we all just got to, you know what I mean, hit that next level and do it together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the podcasting. You know what I mean? The DJs, the mm-hmm. videographers, the models, the fashion. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We all going to meet at the top. That's a fact. I love that you put it that way because I think that's my... Uh, somebody asked me the other day, you know, people always asking advice and, and just how I feel about the Connecticut scene and all that type of stuff. And um, they said that, like, what, you know, what do you think the issues are or a problem or anything like that? And I said, I don't think there's a problem because I think that, to your point, there's a lot of people that is um, operating on a high level, mm-hmm. and it's a lot of people that are doing amazing big stuff, and emotion is crazy. I think uh, the biggest thing about Connecticut is we're, we're such a small state, but not even just outside of that, but they, like there's just there's so many of one thing. Yeah. So like this, if we're talking about rappers, there's so many rappers. If we're talking about singers, there's so many singers, so many producers, so many DJs, all of these things. But there's things that I feel like are missing that we need. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's an amazing podcast in Connecticut. We got to get behind these podcasts and, and build these podcasts up so they can be those media those media outlets that we need. Yeah, I just went on a couple of podcasts, too, because I'm showing love. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know what? Um, let me go on every podcast I could go on around here. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean, yeah. let me get in front of let me let me get in front of the microphone and the camera. Yeah, you know I mean, and, and build with my people. Yep. You know what I mean, because I want them to go up. So let me right. bring let me bring my audience over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean, but I just want people to know, like, aside from the um the craft, mm-hmm. it's a bag in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bag in podcast. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying it's a bag in fashion. Mm-hmm. It's a bag in producing, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, TV shows and movies and you land something on Netflix mm-hmm. or, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, like, uh, not to be funny, um, you take, for example, you take, for example, um, that movie that Kyrie got in hot water over. Mm-hmm. You know how much money they made just now? Oh, no. Nah, just off the yeah, hype the around Controversy, it? yeah, yeah. That's just them following, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and putting it down and, and putting it out there. You, right. You think they could have predicted that somebody in the NBA was going to mention a movie and it was going to go crazy? Right. Like, you never know. So I just want people to put that level of quality out yeah. there so that could happen for you. Because, like, that's what, I'm, that's what I was trying to say in a nutshell. When you producing that type of quality and that type of content and you mm-hmm. putting that type of uh, intention in it, mm-hmm. you never know what's going to happen with it, man. Right. That's you never fact. know when it's going to go viral yep. or when somebody is going to post it or when somebody, when, when a celebrity is going to just decide to play your song while they driving yeah. or whatever. But when it's that type of bop, like, it mm-hmm. can happen. That's a fact. It can happen. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm, and like I said, 
you one of them with the with the I mean with the spinning. So I, I know you get calls when it's like, damn, I didn't think this was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You know All the time. When you started DJing, you think you was gonna be the Huskies DJ? Nah, hell no, hell no. I, I was just telling your man, it's just my whole my whole story of being in this building and coming up and stuff like that, and you know, uh, a lot of a lot of that journey, I didn't think none of that was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I knew I was going to do something. Yeah. I knew that I was going to be at a high level, but I didn't know that my journey was this. You yeah, know what I'm that's why you just got to make the decision to go. Yeah. Because um, you focus on what you want, not how you, how you're gonna get there. Right. You focus on what you want and, and pursue it. And um, yeah, I mean, a lot of things is gonna happen for you. Mm-hmm. A lot of things is gonna happen for you, and uh, you just gotta you gotta move with that fire. That's a fact. Well, listen, man. Sholy the Holy One You already know what it is man On the way We going crazy with it up here Hartford, Connecticut Yeah on all platties right now All platforms um, New music on the way mm-hmm. Projects on the way Yeah the IG is heavy right now You know what I'm saying The, the content engage- The engagement is heavy right engagement now Engagement is Shirley crazy 54 tap in with me I'm cooking mm-hmm. I'm cooking damn near nightly more content, more podcasts, yeah. more of these shows, yeah. more freestyles, more ciphers. Mm-hmm. You going crazy, son? Congratulations, yeah, yeah. man! Thank you, man. You Appreciate definitely deserve you, it. You've we been here. somebody that I've been watching for years. Just really put on, and and you know I'm glad that we like really tapping in now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. I I had to put the thing down for real. Pause. You know what I mean, I used to come up here. Mm-hmm. Doing ain't no telling. I came up here one day. I bought Jenny Boom Boom a Tiffany bracelet to try to get her to play my record. You know what I'm saying? Then I yep. left and I had my whole city call up. You know what I mean, they called up so much that the people who was answering the phones got aggravated. <laughs> and that was just me being a young boy, not knowing how none of this yeah. worked. But that was just the energy I had wanting to do something. But right, right, now right. we in here for real. Absolutely. You know what I mean, Michi, Holy One, everything Husky, the Giants. Yes, sir. You know what it is, man. It's your boy DJ Michi, Hot 937. Yeah. World famous heavy hitter, man. DJ Michi podcast and all that. You know what it is, man. Sholy. Holy one. Salute. Everything Husky. Big East. Yeah. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, my guy. Appreciate you. That was good shit.